Keyword research is the foundation to building a successful blog and driving relevant traffic to your pages. You need to consider the competition level, search volume, intention type, ranking difficulty and more when searching for the right keywords that you want to rank for on the top of search engines like Google Search. So that is my focus for today to share how you can engage in keyword research the right way using my favorite keyword research tool called SEMrush. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into SEMrush, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into result-focused keyword research using SEMrush. Okay, so to dive into keyword research and to get started with SEMrush completely for free, simply head over to your browser and type in SEMrush.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video and this link is going to give you a 14 day free trial for the popular pro plan rather than the standard 7 day free trial. And the great thing is there is no commitment and you can cancel at any time. Essentially, you can do as much keyword research as you like within 14 days completely for free. Okay, so to get started, go ahead and click on try it for free. Then navigate through the simple step-by-step -step process of creating your SEMrush account. And I'll meet you directly inside your SEMrush dashboard. So take your time to do that and I'll meet you inside. Okay, so once you've navigated through the process of setting up your SEMrush account and you've arrived inside your dashboard, simply navigate over to SEO dashboard if you're not already here. Then navigate down the left hand side and locate keyword magic tool and click here. This is where I spend the majority of my time inside SEMrush when engaging in keyword research. Now, if you're completely new to SEMrush and you wanna take a deep dive into all of SEMrush features and tools that they have to offer, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will cover everything you need to know to get the most out of SEMrush. Today's focus is purely on keyword research using the keyword magic tool. So again, go ahead and check out that tutorial if you're completely new to SEMrush. Okay, so under the keyword magic tool, what we want to do is navigate up to the search bar and then type in a keyword related to our business, products or services. For example, let's say that you run a cat blog, you love cats, you want to talk about everything there is to do with cats, and then maybe you sell specific cat products on your website. And let's break this down further into a more niche topic. Let's say we want to talk about cat food on our blog. So I'm going to go ahead and type in best cat food. Food. Then navigate over here and if you operate in a specific market and you only talk about topics in a specific country, then make sure you select the specific country down here. However, for example, because this is an international blog and we talk about everything there is to do with cats all around the world, I'm going to navigate up to United States as this is a good reference country and then click on search. Then navigate over to all keywords. You can see we have all keywords selected then come down to keyword difficulty KD and click here. Now we want to focus on keywords that are easy and very easy to rank for. However, if your blog had high authority and credibility online, then you could target possible, difficult, hard and very hard. But you want to keep in mind that keywords that are in these categories, very hard, hard, difficult and possible are very hard to rank for. So what we're going to do is come down and click on from and then type in zero and then click on two and add 29 because we want to identify keywords that are very easy and easy zero to 29 then come down and click on apply and as you can see SEMrush is going to generate keywords that are easy and very easy to rank for okay so let's understand these results now under keyword you can see the keywords that are related to the keyword that you entered best cat food okay so these are all the keywords down here now next to that we have intent and every keyword has a specific intent for example what is the intent behind a keyword when someone is searching for a keyword on Online. And there are four types of keyword intent. The first is transactional, and this is a keyword that someone is typing in with the intention to make a purchase or buy something. Then we have navigational, and this is the keyword intent for someone that is just looking to browse online. Then we have the commercial keyword intent, and this is when someone is typing in a keyword 
and looking to learn more about something. And last is the informational keyword intent. And this is when someone is typing in a specific search term or keyword to find a specific answer. For example, this keyword up here, freeze dried cat food, has the keyword intent of commercial. So the typical user that is typing in this keyword is looking to find out more information about freeze dried cat food. Then down here you can see we have the keyword kindful cat food and the keyword intent is informational and transactional. So the typical user typing in this keyword is wanting to find an answer to a specific question based around this keyword and transactional the user wants to complete an action, typically a conversion. So the typical user is typing in kindful cat food and is looking for specific information about kindful cat food, as well as looking to possibly purchase this cat food. Now it's important to understand keyword intent depending on how you want to monetize your content. For example, if you sell products on your blog, then you'd want to target transactional posts or transactional keywords. If you're looking to provide specific answers on a topic, on a subject, then informational is what you want to target. However, at the beginning, you just wanna focus on keywords that have high volume of searches per month and low keyword difficulty. Essentially, you want to start ranking your website pages, your posts for these keywords. So you can see that freeze dried cat has 2,400 searches per month and that is in the US alone. Now, if you navigate across and click on open overview, you can see the global search volume, which is 3.8K per month. Again, you can see the keyword difficulty, which is easy. And then the trend for this keyword, you can see that this keyword trend is growing over time. Now the CPC cost per click is how much advertisers are paying per click if someone clicks on a ad targeting this keyword. Now down here we also have questions related to this keyword. So the keyword is freeze dried cat food. Down here you can see the related questions. Can you freeze dry cat food? Is freeze dried cat food healthy? And more down here. Then you also have related keywords, best cat food, raw cat food and fresh cat food and you can see the search volume over here. Now under SERP analysis you can see which pages are ranking on Google search for this keyword. So these are your competitors and you can see how they structure their content to rank in the top three spots on the first page of Google. So that's what I typically look at. I look at spot one, two and three on the first page of Google and see how my competitors have built content around a specific keyword. Okay, so let's click out of that. Again, like I mentioned, we have cost per click, then the competition level for advertisers. However, the main elements that we want to look at are the keyword, the intent, the search volume, and the keyword difficulty. Now we can also navigate up to broad match and click here, and that's gonna show a variation of your main keyword that you added. So remember, we added best cat food. Down here, we have best raw cat food. So this could be a topic that I want to talk about. And you want to build authority around a topic. This is called topical authority. Essentially, as you build a lot of content around a specific topic, Google or other search engines, as well as readers, will give you authority and credibility around that topic. So a topic that I could target and build content around would be raw cat food. And I wanna become an authority on that topic. And when would you decide that you want to become an authority on a specific topic? Well, again, what you wanna do is look at the search volume. Is there high search volume and low keyword difficulty in terms of ranking your blog on top of search engines? Now we can also navigate over here. And like I said, you can open an overview or you can click on that keyword. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just wanna mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you wanna learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. And that's gonna take you to the keyword overview for that specific keyword that you selected. Down here, similar to what I showed you before, you can see the volume per month for that keyword based on the country that you selected. You can also see the global search volume as well as the search volume per month from other countries. 
We have the keyword difficulty as well as the cost per click. Advertisers are paying the competitive density for advertisers, the commercial intent, the keyword intent, and then the trend for that keyword down here. You can also access keyword ideas like all keywords, and these are related to the keyword that you selected. You can also view all the 590 keywords for this particular keyword. We also have the relevant questions over here and you can view all those questions that are relevant to that keyword. And then if we navigate down further, like I mentioned before, you can see the SERP analysis and see how your competitors are ranking and performing for this keyword. It can also give you ideas on what type of content that's ranking well and the topics that your competitors are talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate back up and head back to the keyword magic tool. So I've decided I wanna rank for this keyword. So what we wanna do is navigate over to this plus icon and then click on these three lines, then navigate down and click on create new empty list. And I'm going to call this raw cat food. Then save that by clicking this green tick. And as you can see, if we click out of here, you can see that now this keyword has been added to the list raw cat food. Now let's navigate over to the left hand side. This is where we can select a topical group. So I'm going to navigate down and click on raw because we want to target keywords related to raw cat food. Here we have some more keywords related to raw cat food. I'm going to add this keyword to my list. However, if I navigate over here, you can see the search volume is incredibly low compared to this keyword up here. So I want to keep that in mind. Now I'm going to navigate back over to all keywords and then click on all keywords up here and then navigate up here and I'm going to add raw cat food and then hit search. I'm going to navigate down and I like the look of this keyword. I wanna create content that focuses on targeting this keyword, freeze dried cat food because the search volume is incredibly high and the keyword density is low. So I'm going to add this to my keyword list. Then I'm going to navigate down and as you can see, we have another keyword freeze dried raw cat food. This is another keyword that has high search volume and low keyword difficulty. And it also has my primary keyword that I want to target raw cat food. So I'm going to add that to my list and then navigate down. And here's another keyword I want to add frozen raw cat food. Again, we have relatively high search traffic and low competition in terms of keyword difficulty. I'm going to add a few more, this one, and then raw kitten food, and then this keyword down here. This would be a good keyword to target too, raw freezed dried cat food, I'm gonna add that. And then down here we have raw rabbit cat food. So although the search volume is relatively low in the US, it has incredibly low competition in terms of the keyword difficulty. So it would be incredibly easy to rank my blog post for this keyword. I'm going to add this keyword, and I'm happy with all those keywords. Now what we wanna do is navigate back up to the top and then locate Keyword Manager and click here. Then locate the list that you just created. And that's gonna show you a list of all your keywords that you added to this particular list. And you can see that the primary or seed keyword is raw cat food for most of these keywords. Now, after engaging in keyword research and finding keywords related to a specific topic, what I would do is with each of these keywords related to a topic, I would create content for, and this is going to build my topical authority and help me rank my posts for these keywords. So a post idea for this keyword here could be best raw rabbit cat food in 2023 top seven raw rabbit cat food in the US or best raw rabbit cat food in Australia. Also, you can find topic ideas by simply clicking on a keyword and that's gonna take you to the keyword overview again and we're gonna navigate down to the bottom to SERP analysis again. And what we wanna do is analyze the content that our competitors have already created and is ranking well on search engines. What we can do is click on view SERP and as you can see, this website, this page here, is ranking number one for this keyword on Google search, freeze-dried raw cat food. If we navigate down further, we also have this website here, freeze-dried and dehydrated cat food. On the first page of Google is frozen and freeze-dried raw cat food. So what you wanna do is click on each of your competitors that are ranking in the top three spots for a particular keyword and look at the type of content that they're creating. And you wanna make content that is better than that content. You also wanna navigate down and look at what people are also asking. And you can create content that answers these questions. Again, you wanna do better than what your competitors are doing. Okay, so let's navigate back over to SEMrush. And back inside the keyword overview, let's go ahead and click on keyword magic tool. 
and do some more research around a keyword. What I'm going to do is remove this and then add raw cat food verse and see what keywords show up. And straight away you can see that the search volume is incredibly low and there is no intent. This means I do not want to target any of these keywords. So I'm going to navigate back up and just delete verse and then click search. Now this time I want to find related keywords to raw cat food. So I'm going to navigate down and click on related then navigate back over to keyword difficulty. And remember we want to target easy and very easy. So I'm going to add zero to 29 and then click apply. Again, there's nothing new that I want to target. I've got the primary keyword up here, which I've already added to my list is the one that has the highest search volume that I already want to target. Everything else is relatively low, except for this search term over here, frozen cat food. So let's do some research around frozen cat food. I'm going to navigate up here and add frozen cat food and then hit search and then navigate over to all keywords. And this time I want to create a keyword list for just frozen cat food because you can see we have a lot of results here with high search volume. So here we have freeze dried cat food, which is already added to a different list, but we're going to add it to a new list by clicking here and then coming down and creating a new list. And the topic is frozen cat food, then hit tick. So now we have two lists. We have raw cat food and frozen cat food. So I'm going to click out of here and I'm going to add this keyword here to my frozen cat food list, then navigate down and select the keywords that have frozen in the keyword as well as having high search volume. So I'm going to add this keyword, this keyword. And then if I navigate down, we have raw freeze dried cat food, raw frozen cat food. And then to make it easier, I can also navigate over to the left hand side and click on freeze. And that's going to show me the topical group related to freeze cat food. As you can see, I have these top five keywords up here. I'm going to navigate down and add this keyword, this keyword, and then this keyword down here. Now I can click on this list by clicking here, or I can navigate over to the keyword manager and locate that list. I'm going to navigate back over here and then hover over this tick and then click on this list here. And that's going to take me to my new list. That's all about frozen cat food. Again, like I mentioned, what I would do is start creating content around each of these keywords with a focus on frozen cat food. And remember you want to click on each of these keywords. So let's go ahead and find the highest search volume keyword, which is freeze dried cat food with 2,400 search volumes in the US per month and relatively low keyword difficulty. So I'm going to click here. And again, that's going to take us to the keyword overview where we can see all this information in regards to this keyword. Then again, we can navigate down and see how our competitors are ranking and what type of content they are creating around this keyword. Remember, you can do that by simply clicking on view SERP, or you can come down and click on the website itself to view that website page. And then what you want to do is create content that is better than your competitors with a focus on the keywords that you want to target. However, that is an introduction on how you can engage in keyword research using SEMrush. Again, if you want to learn more about SEMrush and all of their marketing tools and features, what I'll do is add relevant tutorials down below in the description, as well as articles for you to check out. And there we have it guys, that is it for this complete SEMrush keyword research tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about keyword research using SEMrush, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this SEMrush tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.